I'd like to tell you about my artistically named cats. This is Monet. I've had Monet for 10 years. She's a regal petite cat. But just like the best of us, there are moments where she seems a little, well, vapid. She likes to perch on high things so she can look down at the world and ponder the fate of humanity. Sort of like the hero Gotham doesn't need right now. She's fiercely independent and low maintenance. And just when you're convinced that she could care less about your existence, she jumps up on your lap for a good back rub. This is Matisse. Matisse is five. She's the definition of goofy. When she was little, she got into rat poison that caused nerve damage in her back legs, leaving her hindquarters with a mind of their own. Imagine a slinky dog with no control over its rear half. She's very sweet. She loves people. And sometimes she forgets to put her tongue back in her mouth. She's still learning how to be pet without falling down. Together, we've defended box fortresses, climbed mattress towers, endured Halloween costumes, foregone all need for privacy, and survived flea baths. Essentially, we've become best friends. Due to circumstances beyond my control, I can no longer keep my sweet cats. It's breaking my heart. With only one week to find them a new home, I first went to my friends and family. Exhausting every contact I have, I was faced with the reality that no one I know can take them. I then turned to the internet to cast a larger net, only to discover the horrors of online pet adoption scams that the state of Florida is notorious for. Many predators troll Craigslist in search of free bait for their big snakes. Owners of underground dog fighting rings use cats they consider to be disposable to give the dog something to fight over. Both groups employ scam artists who are skilled in the art of convincing you that your beloved pet will go to a good home, when really a gruesome death awaits them. As time runs out, I've had to start investigating local shelters and adoption programs. Most shelters will euthanize within three days of drop-off. All of the no-kill shelters in town are full of thousands of kittens that need homes. And although I've met some lovely people who run nonprofit cat adoption and animal foster programs, they've all expressed the same sad truth. No one wants older cats. The word unadoptable is the most heartbreaking thing you can hear about animals you love. With very few options left, I'm turning to the internet for help to find a home with a loving owner for my two cats, Monet and Matisse, a home where they can stay together. Maybe the idea of a big, viral internet miracle that could find my cats the perfect home is outlandish, but I'm going to try anyway. I have to. Please share this video so we can find the perfect owner for Monet and Matisse. Share this video so that shelters and overcrowded foster organizations won't become their fate. Share it in the name of older cats everywhere. And may we remember that they were once cute kittens too. That their ability to be lovable pets does not decrease as their ages increase. You might be watching this thinking, they're just cats, why should I care? And you're right. I won't deny that there are more important things in the world than rehoming my artistically named cats. But as cheesy as it is, I believe that love is the most important thing. The love Monet and Matisse have given me has been real, and it has been important. The least you can give those who filled your life with love, whether human or animal, is your best, even outlandish efforts to ensure that their lives will be filled with love too. I can't be that person for them anymore, but if you share this video, you can help me find someone who can. You can help me find the perfect owner who will love them with their whole heart, as I have. If you know of anyone who would be interested in adopting Monet and Matisse together and can provide them a loving home, please have them contact me. Thank you for watching.